Hello and welcome in. Greg Smith here, National Recruiting Analyst here at Rivals. And I'm joined by a very special guest, Hollis Davidson, 2025 tight end out of Georgia, six foot six. Um, Hollis, man, how are you? First of all, thanks for being on with me. How are you? Of course, man. Uh, thank you for having me. I I'm doing great. I'm, I'm doing great. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Good. I'm doing well, man. I guess, you know, it, it's been a, a, a big kind of three weeks or so here for you. I guess that for those that don't know you, kind of you've picked up in the last, I think, three weeks, you've picked up offers from Florida State, Indiana, Georgia Tech, Cincinnati, Wisconsin. So my, I guess where I want to start with that is, is what have these last few weeks been like for you, man? It, Dude, like a month and a half ago, I like. I, of course, I was working to play college ball. Like that's that's been my dream to play play football in college since since I started playing football, and it, like it's just been unreal. Everything's been unreal. Like it's actually it's really it's really happening now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like it's I'm I'm just really thankful. Like I thank God every day. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess yes, kind of you know I think there was was Wisconsin the most recent one. Yes, sir. I got I got that last night. So I guess last night when that happened, I guess, how did that kind of happen? Like, which coach did you talk to? And just kind of walk me through how that happened. So um, I talked to their tight end coach. I had been in touch with their um, uh, recruiting page on Twitter. I had been in touch mm -hmm. with a couple, like, assistant uh, directors or player personnel. And um, I had been talking to them. And then their assistant director of player personnel, I'm pretty sure, he told me uh, the tight end coach was going to call me later that night and that uh, he loved my – film and he was going to call me and so I called him and he asked for my my story and everything and then he, he gave me the offer and said said I was offered I was uh, it, it was it was it was great man yeah and you know it's it's crazy too because like you said you know it's one of those things where you're seeing all of the hard work pay off um yeah. you have these schools that are now offering so then when those when each of those happens when those schools kind of come through with an offer I guess what do you think like what what's the feeling like when that happens it's 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 I don't even know like the words to describe it's it's like it, it's just it's just it's crazy because every time I get on the phone with the coach like I don't I don't know what's gonna happen it's it, it could be like a invite out to a game that could just be complimenting my film but when like when they give the offer like it's it's just really exciting yeah, and I bet it has to be, especially when it's these these coaches and schools that like you maybe have seen on TV or maybe yeah, kind of yes, watch, right. watch, and then you're like, Dude. wait a second, I'm on the phone with the Titans, yeah. you know, Florida State or Wisconsin. I've seen yeah. them play on Saturday. That has to be weird. Yes, right? sir. Yeah, it's crazy. It's 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 crazy. Like the way these schools are doing, and then they're reaching out to me. It's just it's unbelievable. So I guess what did they say, you know, as you talk to these schools and they're kind of you know complimenting film or inviting you out or offering you, what do they say that they like about your game? Uh, pretty pretty much every single school has said um, they like my length, my size, my athleticism, and like the way I play. Just like the way I get into um, my blocking, like the outside the outside blocking, my outside run blocking, my screen blocking, and then my athleticism, like the way I make plays on the ball, like my hands, my route, like my route running, my my speed for being a big tight end. That right. that's 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 all the points that they hit. Okay, cool, man. And I guess, you know, then, you know, and we were talking kind of about uh, teams kind of uh, inviting you out as well, I guess. Are there, yes, uh, have you been on any visits yet so far this season? So um, when I – I went up to Georgia Tech. That's when I got my Georgia Tech offer. And last week – last weekend I was at Alabama on unofficial. And, I'm dude, I'm packed with visits right now. This weekend I'm going up to Auburn. And then next weekend my dad's out of town, so I couldn't go anywhere. But then on the 4th I'm going up to Cincy. And then on the 11th, I'm going to UGA. And then on the 18th, um, I, I think I'm, I'm going to have something on the 18th if I get in contact yeah. with this coach. And then I'm also going to – no, that that's it because I'm not going in anywhere on Thanksgiving. But um, <laughs> that'd be the end of the season. So, like, I, I'm, I'm packed till the end of the season. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, but you got it. Yes, the sir. thing is, is this is, it's funny because I talked to enough kids to know that, you know, it's always exciting in the beginning to get the offers and you're starting to hear yeah. these rules, but then you kind of have to work the logistics out of kind of getting to these places because you want to make yeah. an informed decision, right? Be able to be yes, sir. So this, yes, this sir. is where it gets really interesting, right? Yeah. Cause there's been, um, 
there's been some schools that have reached out and invited me down that like I'd love to go to and I, I could see myself like having a future there, but it's just, I'm, I'm packed. Like I'm booked. And, um, these schools I'm going on visits on, like, I, I, I feel like, cause I've made these prior, um, commitments. Like I, I just, I want to honor them because that's just the type of player I am. I want to honor the commitments I've made. I don't, I don't want to cancel. And, um, so I can figure out another time cause these schools will still be interested. So I can, I can go see them like after the season. Or go up to a camp or something, but um, yeah, it's crazy. Absolutely. So, so I guess you know what? What would you say is now that you're kind of you know getting some some dates together and going to look at schools? What would you say the things are that you're most looking for in the school? So um, I I'd, I'd really a big thing for me is living in the city because that's just the way I that's just the way I am. I'd like to live in a city. Um, I I'd, I'd like I'd really like to graduate with a good degree. And I'm I'm planning on majoring in business, and so I'm I'm looking at um, the business degrees and stuff from the schools that I'm looking at, and um, I, my my plan originally was to stay in the south because I'm a I'm a I'm a southern boy, like that was my plan. But um, the way things are going, and the way all the recruiting is going, and the way the coaches are treating me, um, I don't know where I'm going to end up. Gotcha. Yeah, that, that makes sense, man. I guess um, just a couple more here for you. I guess yes, you kind of watch tight ends and you watch college football, the NFL. I guess what tight ends kind of stand out to you as guys that you kind of look at and say, OK, I would like to kind of pattern my game after those guys. Well, there's there's the obvious answer as, as Brock Bowers, because right. he's a player. He's, he's an animal for Georgia. Yeah, he, he gets he gets to work at Georgia and then. Um, there, there's the NFL players like the way the way Kyle Pitts was used at um, the Gators. I, I I really like the way he lined up like and wide because that's that's the way I, I I'm I'm an inside receiver like inside tight end mm-hmm. like I don't in, in our offense I don't get much like twelve personnel work. I, I I'm, I'd love to like that's I feel like that's the biggest development I'm gonna make when I go to college ball. Okay. You know, getting some like on the line work. But um yeah, and then there's there's like Travis Kelsey, there's George Kittle because they're they're all pass receiving tight ends like they get they get the ball right absolutely yeah that makes sense man and i guess my final one here for you a non-football one is i guess when you're not playing football what what does hollis like to do when he is not playing football uh i i like to lift i like to lift a lot and i just started um i'm, I'm going up in weight now because okay. i, I want to enter um my senior season at like at 235 i feel like that'd be comfortable mm-hmm. For okay. for for going in and looking at like more schools, I feel like they'd like me a little bit bigger. But um, okay. I, I do play I play soccer as well. But um, I've been playing soccer my whole life. I play goalkeeper here at McIntosh, and okay. um, yeah, I've been thinking about. I'm not sure about. I'm I'm really I'm I just I love football so much. It's making me making me lose a little bit of my love for soccer. But um, <laughs> I'm thinking about in the off season. Getting hopping on the track team, getting some track work, getting getting a little bit quicker, mm-hmm. a little bit more explosive, and then yeah, I, I'm just gonna. I, I like to. I, I'm. I like to work, man. I like to grind. Got you. Hey, that makes sense, man. Again, Hollis, I I definitely appreciate it. Uh, Make sure you guys like this video up. Subscribe to the Rivals YouTube channel so you guys can get these videos directly into your feed. And we'll catch you guys later. Thanks, Hollis. Yes, sir. Thank you.